Finally tonight, Hollywood lost one of its most enduring stars today, Carl Malden. Malden always said that he was the only actor in Hollywood whose nose qualified him for handicap parking. Carl Malden looked like he came out of the steel mills, which is exactly what he did. You lied to me, Blanche. Don't say I lied to you. Lies! Lies inside and out! All lies! Ilya Kazan cast him as Blanche's hapless suitor Mitch in A Streetcar Named Desire. He won an Oscar for that role, and Kazan made him the crusading Father Barry in On the Waterfront. Boys, this is my church. And if you don't think Christ is down here on the waterfront, you've got another guest coming. Then Kazan cast him as Archie Lee in another Tennessee Williams classic, Baby Doll. Baby Doll! In all, Malden made some 50 films, almost always playing counterpoint to the lead character, as Warden Harvey Shoemaker in The Birdman of Alcatraz. The only thing I've ever gotten back was defiance. Not once have you ever shown a sign of rehabilitation. Or as Omar Bradley in Patton. It is you're one of the best field commanders I've got, but you don't know when to shut up. George, you're a pain in the neck. And then it was a five-year run on television. The Streets of San Francisco, starring Carl Malden. Where he got to play the lead, veteran cop Mike Stone, partnered with a young Michael Douglas. Don't overbook your mind, buddy boy. Just pick up the message. He was also a celebrity pitch man. Funds at travelers check machines in most major U.S. airports. Don't leave home without them. At 91, Malden was honored with the Screen Actors Guild Lifetime Achievement Award. This is the peak. For me. For half a century, he was one of Hollywood's great character actors. Carl Malden was 97.